I've always worked uh, at the intersection of art and technology. Uh, I use various technological and, and, and generative methods to make art. Uh, blockchain in 2012 became very interesting to me. In 2018, uh, I tokenized myself on the blockchain in a project called I Am A Coin, uh, in which I used my blood uh, to connect myself to the blockchain. Um, my wife is a doctor, so she drew my blood. Uh, I took the contract address that is generated on the blockchain uh, when, when you uh, deploy a contract, and I imprinted my blood on, on paper. So those physical works uh, couldn't really have a meaningful existence were it not for the creation of the virtual work. This installation uh, I made specifically for VivaTech. Uh, it's called Physiology of an NFT. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, are familiar with non-fungible tokens and digital art, they think of it as being uh, very clean and immaterial. Uh, in fact, it's inextricably tied to the physical realm. From the moment of creation to consumption, uh, it's very physical. And so I think that's represented uh, in this work. What happened is after I created I Am A Coin project, uh, I had some media attention. Uh, and next thing I knew, I was getting calls from every corner of the world, from Hong Kong, from Dubai, people telling me they wanted to buy these pieces of me. It's really interesting because I created 10 million of these tokens, each one a, a work of art, but each one divisible to 18 decimal places. And yet, I had people in uh, uh, far off land saying, we'd like to buy 10,000 of them, 100,000 of them. What was happening is that they were sort of re-commodifying me. We see this in, in the world of cryptocurrency and, and now in crypto art, this discussion that surfaces every few months, are we in a bubble? Uh, for sure we're somewhere within the crypto zeitgeist. Um, whether it's a bubble or not, I'm not really uh, equipped to, to even comment on that. I'm also not really so interested in the art market per se. I am interested in how uh, decentralized technology can empower people. Uh, in the case of crypto art, empower artists and potentially collectors as well. Thank you.